You know, all right, so here's our other four inch clean out for the second branch of the system. It's going to be a little easier for us to access. It is here at the surface. It's located to the right of the garage in this little uh, courtyard area, if you will. All right. So this branch also is a modern plastic piping. Similar conditions here until we get out to that intersection. And then we'll turn it tie into an older original piping. Around that turn. steam in the pipe from hot water being run during the physical inspection. We should be able to see adequately here. Alright, here's where we're going to tie into that other pipe. Push out right here. A few more turns in this side of the system which might make our uh, maintenance a little more difficult so probably would be a good idea to get the other clean out exposed. Right here's where we're changing from the modern plastic to an original clay piping and again you'll see basically the line's not draining it's holding a pretty good amount of water here along the bottom it's about half full so this really is more of a situation this much piping and holding that much water, the system's not draining, have much higher potential for blockages. You'll see as I push through the water actually even kind of runs back towards the camera. And we'll see exactly how full it gets. It looks like it's getting closer to the top here. Now what I'm looking for if I can see if there's any damage anywhere or if it's just an improperly graded line. Now here in this area you're seeing uh, the uh, roots coming through the joints, these clay pipe sections. That's a fairly common condition in these older clay lines and uh, normally we're suggesting that they can be maintained with regular sewer line cleanings. It's one of them maintained for extended periods that they can create blockages in the system or potentially damage a pipe. So having suitable access is important. But for now, that's not my more significant issue. It is the fact that the line is not draining. significant roots through here. And something else that's tying in here off to the right. This might not be a tie-in. It might have been a test fitting when they put the system in. Which would be capped off. Long. Now we're actually sloped and draining. We're getting more significant roots coming up ahead of us here. Taking some photographs of these areas as we go through so I can include those in the written report. Here's our public connection, which is also pretty heavily rooted. Looks like the public sewers had a liner installed. It's really hard to see exactly how these roots are coming in. Let's see if we can get the camera washed off a little bit more here in the city sewer.
connection has uh, been compromised, and it does look like it. You look off to the right of the screen there. You see kind of a jagged edge. It almost looks like a break. So, this is something that really needs to be further investigated. I think the best thing to do would be to have this line hydrojetted um, with this break here and the uh, improperly sloped line there through the yard. We may be discussing replacing from the city sewer all the way back to that uh, newer plastic, but uh, I think it would be most beneficial to get this line as clean as it can possibly get it to uh, be able to just see a little bit better. It will be more accurate in our recommendation. But uh, this area does definitely appear to be broken. All right, so uh, at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to conclude the video portion of the examination. And I'll include the video with the written report, which will describe our findings and recommendations for today's evaluation, uh, which again are going to include a good thorough hydrojetting of the line and then taking a second look. And uh, very, very possibly here we're going to be recommending a replacement. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day.